followed him to so his To get around of the uh, budget limitations. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, the, the, um, the highest ranking NCO was Bill Burroughs, who was a, uh, he, he uh, was LBJ's driver. And um, we were all assigned to one company down at, um, at in, in San Antonio, Fort good? Sam Is that Houston. Good? No, Fort Sam Houston. A medical company. And um, we'd been up there two or three months. And I, I, I should tell you, uh, I drove the woman that supervised the our area um, she asked me to she went down on Air Force One and she asked me to drive her Cadillac down so here's this here I am I'm by this time an E2 or E3 and um, I pull into the company area to check in in this big white Cadillac and <laughs> so this is my introduction to the company area and I went through my stuff and I said I can't stay any longer I've got to because they, they had me on a tight leash to get back there. <laughs> then this company commander calls for Bill Burroughs, and Bill was never there. If LBJ wasn't in Austin, and he only drove him in Austin, um, he, he, he disappeared. I don't know where he was. And so I was the second-ranking NCO there, and he, uh, the, the, the company commander gets me on the phone and he just starts reaming my ass. You goddamn fools are up there and you're not you haven't had a PT test in over a year. PT. No one physical Good. training. Yeah. You haven't been to the rifle range since basic training. You're you know, I'm getting all these demerits. You're you're goddamn sure gonna have to be down here three days a month for training. I'm yes sir. Yes sir. I'll yes, tell sir. Sergeant yes. Burroughs. <laughs> so Burroughs comes in the afternoon. I said, boy, we're in trouble. You just got a call from the company commander and he's hot. He said, what, what do you mean? And I went through all this stuff. He says, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there and he gets on the phone. He first calls General Cross, who was the president's pilot. And LBJ had promoted him to general. And he was the head of Bergstrom Air Force Base, and he calls, so he calls him and says, you know, all this, and then he calls uh, the head of WACA, I uh, can't remember his name, but he'd also been promoted to Jack, White House Communication Agents, that's who we all worked for within the, that's who, the unit we were in. And then he called some other general, and then he called, I couldn't tell who this was, and he was, uh, I missed who he'd called, and all of a sudden, he got the general he wanted, and he said, Westy, they're fucking with us down here. <laughs> he called. <laughs> I only then learned that the way that he became LBJ's driver is that he'd been West Portland's driver. Who was he? <laughs> he? At the time, he was chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. staff. <laughs> West Eater right. fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, he, after this conversation, he hung up the phone and he said, John, I don't think we're going to have to go to training. <laughs> The next day, I got a call from. I actually came into Burroughs. He wasn't there. Got transferred to me, and this guy says, "This is so and so. I'm a sergeant major of Fort Sam Houston." And for those of you who hadn't been in the military, a sergeant major, that's an NCO, runs the thing. The generals come and go. The sergeant major runs the thing, and uh, he said. John, he said, tell, here, give Bill Burroughs, he says, here's my phone number, here's my phone number at home, in case you can't be either get me There's this way. He said, and if you have any more trouble with that <laughs> commanding officer, just give me a call. <laughs> now, I don't know what happened to the command, our Didn't commanding officer. Didn't he say, officer. please don't call any more <laughs> generals? Yes, then he, yes, and then he says, just ask Bill not to call any more generals. <laughs> 
Westy, you're <laughs> fucking with us down here, dude. <laughs> Oh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. <laughs> right. Uh, a, oh, oh, God. The people could probably tell LBJ stories for Oh, him. yeah. He was uh, such an outsized that, personality. Love him, hate yeah. him, and he just yeah. in those days. Oh, yeah. Pierre, eat your beans. Eat your beans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story, too. Tell that.